it is a beautiful day here in Jasper and we're so glad to be here. Uh, we actually almost didn't make it back to Canada from El Paso. Yeah, almost not. So check out how we got to Jasper. We took a train. Who does that? We do. We went on Via Rail from Vancouver all the way to Jasper in the sweet sleeper cabin where our chairs magically turned into bunk beds at night. And there's all these different areas where you can hang out, take in the views, have some food. I mean, what a way to travel. And the views out the window were incredible. We're going through the Rocky Mountains across Western Canada. I mean, you can drive or you can fly, but taking a train is a whole other experience. So here we are in our cabin in Via Rail, and out there is Alberta. Isn't she beautiful? This is actually where I am from originally. Well, not like right here, but <laughs> in Alberta. I moved to BC about 10 years ago. And I moved to BC almost 18 years ago from Saskatchewan. So these are, of course, if you're not familiar, the three provinces on the westernmost side of the country. We are Prairie Boys, and we just went as west possible as possible. Uh, but this Hello. is a beautiful area. And uh, Jasper is, of course, extremely beautiful too. We are going to start our time in Jasper ice walking. Mm -hmm. What a cool thing yeah, to do. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's no, gonna be fun. Yeah. But before walking on the ice, we had to go for some food in Jasper. So we went to Coco's Cafe, which is locally owned and operated, and they specialize in vegetarian, vegan, and celiac friendly fare, which I love. Uh, but if you have a boyfriend like I do, who's basically a meatitarian, they have other stuff as well. And their coffee and espresso is ordered, roasted, delivered, and served all in the same week. So it's very fresh and very local and very tasty. All right, a good lunch calls for some hot crust buns. Hot buns. <laughs> Heath's has chocolate and mine has dragon fruit or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but it is a beautiful day here in Jasper and we're so glad to be here. Uh, we actually almost didn't make it back to Canada from El Paso. Yeah, almost not. So if you saw the last video, we were in El Paso and we had to take a flight to Phoenix from there and then from Phoenix back to Canada. But the flight going to Phoenix was delayed an hour and a half. Yeah. So we had less than 10 minutes from the time we landed to get onto another plane. It's a very tight connection. Yes, that's what she said. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, uh, we did make it. We ran. We had yeah. to run so Thanks. hard. It was like doing cardio through the airport. Yeah. Uh, and then they could see us running toward the gate and they knew they were waiting for us, I guess. So they were like, run, run. They were yelling at us. It was kind of funny. And then they didn't even uh, properly check our ID or yeah. anything. They were just like, get on! Get on the plane. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we were grateful to make it because otherwise we would have had to stay in Phoenix overnight. Which would have been okay, but... Yeah, I put a damper on our plans, so. Yeah. Um, but anyway, now that we have some food in our belly and have some more coming, uh, we should eat this and then go walk on the ice. So we hopped on our shuttle with Milene Adventures to go to the Milene Canyon for the ice walk. This has been designated a signature experience by the Canadian Tourism Commission and it is pretty special. I mean, check out the views and we had to wear helmets to be protected and had some extra grips on our shoes, but you're walking along the ice with a tour guide and checking out like ice caves and fossils and frozen waterfalls. I mean, this was the kind of thing I think you could only really do in Jasper. All right, we were back in the warmer area of Jasper. It got a little chilly out on the ice walk. It was cold, Yeah, but very cool. Yeah, very cool in both senses of the word. Um, but we have multiple layers on, so we were doing all right. And part of the reason we have so many layers on is because he's got a new suitcase that we could put all these clothes into. Yes. Because <laughs> on our way back from El Paso, when we got into Canada, Part of Heath's suitcase hadn't made the trip. Nope. Like the <laughs> wheels were just ripped right off my suitcase. Yeah, and then quite a bit of damage and such. But yeah. uh, we made a claim, yeah. and then they said, okay, take the suitcase to this repair place and they'll fix it. And then when we got there, they were like, okay, where's your claim form? And we were like, well, we, we didn't get a claim form. No. And they're like, well, you have to have one. And so then the airline called and said, you don't have a claim form? We're like, no, we weren't given one. So luckily they delivered a brand new suitcase anyway because his old one was beyond repair. And then the next day I found the claim form 
Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but it all worked out in it the end. It did work out. Yeah. Um, and now, next on the agenda is for us to go have a tasty dinner. So we went to Evil Dave's Grill. What makes him so evil, I don't know. But it's a casual restaurant that serves creative, globally inspired food, along with specialty cocktails and wine. Or as they like to say, they create wicked food using fresh ingredients and creative flair. Um, so this was another kind of authentic, local, tasty experience right on sort of the main street called Patricia Street. Well, we have finished dinner and we are just waiting for the sun to set so we can go to the planetarium because you probably didn't know that Jasper is a designated dark sky preserve. So that means they work really hard to ensure that the night view of the stars and everything above is not ruined by light pollution. And we just stopped in at this convenience store and Heath looks at this magazine and ironically enough, it's a list of 100 places that will change your life. And one of them is in Jasper. And uh, it's the dark sky climb. Yeah. We're not doing the climb, but no. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Who knew? Ironic. Um, so let's go check out the stars above at the planetarium. So we were going to do both the planetarium and their telescope experience, but it was such a cloudy night, they had to shut down the telescope. But in the planetarium, you go inside this air-supported dome theater where a guide shares with you local Aboriginal constellations, views of the Northern Lights. You go up into the space that orbits above the Rockies, basically to the edge of the universe, all in about 35 minutes. And we're back on planet Earth in Jasper. <laughs> it's been interesting to learn more about our crazy universe, thanks to the planetarium. Uh, but that is the end of our first day in Jasper, Aww. which has been a lot of fun, but there's more to come. And if you want a postcard from Jasper, you just have to be one of the first three people to comment on this video down below. If you've missed that opportunity, it's okay. Just click the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can find out for the next video. And otherwise, if you want to get postcards from every destination we go to, sign up at joshweimer.com slash postcards. And we'll be back on Thursday with the hotel hangout. Bye. See you then.